love your slaw with fennel and apple in there. Great. Your sauce is herby. Good amount of garlic in there, sharp with lime. Really, really good job. Oh, thanks so much. I've got no criticism at all. You've got a good reputation as a TV presenter, but of course I know you for the sport, particularly yeah. for the rugby. Yeah, your love of rugby, Greg. Do you have a reputation as a cook amongst the rugby boys? We're going to find out, aren't we? <laughs> no, all the rugby boys think they're brilliant at everything. You know that, right? It's really competitive. If I don't do well here, I'll get a hard time for years. Pitch side, on air, they'll be talking about it. Also, you know. you've stood beside John on telly while he cooks. <laughs> no, and asked and him... And we're turning the tables <laughs> here, right? And I ask him really annoying questions, and he's in the middle of doing something, and I can see him going, I wish he'd just stop asking questions. So um, I'm now realising what it's like, you know? Do you cook? I do cook for the family, yeah. So I have four kids. Quinn's 21, Warren's 18, Milo's 16, Elsa's 13. I've got to name them all or be in trouble. But you know, that's family cooking. That's a bit different, isn't it? You've never cooked sweetbreads before? Never before. But you've eaten them before? I think I have, yeah. I think they're beautiful. It's one of my favourites. Really? Don't mess it up, Craig. That's pressure, Craig. Don't mess it up. That's pressure. Oh, my word. Craig, he's blanched his sweetbreads first. He's peeled them, got rid of the membrane, which is good, because that could be tough. Then he's going to breadcrumb them. Panko saves everything. And I'll fry them off in some oil. Those sweetbreads have to be cooked and be golden all the way around the outside, and they can't be dry. But these are a bit bigger. I'm hoping I cook them long enough. He's going to serve it with a slaw made of celery, fennel, carrot, and lemon juice. <laughs> oh, man. Nice idea, but that means it's got to be really, really fine. Too big. And he's making a herb creme fraiche. I just hope that fatty creme fraiche with a deep fried sweetbread, which is going to be a little bit oily, is not too rich. TV presenter Craig has deep fried his ingredient sweetbreads in breadcrumbs and served them with an apple and fennel slaw and a garlic and herb creme fraiche. Those sweetbreads are perfect. You've got a crunchy outside that's not greasy. Inside there, you've got lovely, soft, perfectly cooked sweetbreads. There's a little bit of citrus across the top, which is just giving it a little zing. I think that's good cookery, Craig. Oh, thank you. Honestly, sweetbreads has got to be one of the scariest things to find under a cloche. Really well done. Thank you. I love your slaw with fennel and apple in there. Great. Your sauce is herby. Good amount of garlic in there, sharp with lime. Really, really good job. Oh, thanks so much. I've got no criticism at all. I did not expect that. I loved what they said, and I'm really buzzed about it. I'm just going to work with it now, and let's see what happens. Yeah. And win! <laughs> Finally, it's broadcaster Edith. She was given apples, and has made an apple strudel with currants soaked in port spiced with cinnamon, served with a creamy apple and vanilla sauce. That looks great. I love the lattice work that you've got across the top of that. Well done. It's not really a strudel. The strudel's got lots of different layers. This is sort of more like a phyllo parcel. But inside there are the sharp apples, some little bits of currant, and good amount of cinnamon and nutmeg. It's this lovely flavour of Christmas spice and Christmas pudding. Your sauce is really sweet, which for me balances out the sharpness of the apple with the sweetness. It's really tasty. I like it a lot. Your pastry is lovely and crispy. It's not at all greasy. That is fabulous. Fabulous. I'm only supposed to be tasting it. I've eaten half of it. <laughs> I, I think I'll probably take the rest up to my room <laughs> and finish it with a cup of tea. That is really quite delicious. Standing in front of those two is the most terrifying thing ever. It's worse than being pulled up in front of the headmaster. But I'm really chuffed, really chuffed.